Hello everyone, welcome back. Kevin with Survival Boards. Guys and gals, the last video I did created a lot of questions. I think it created more questions than answers because people were saying, well, what about this and what about that? And what about the striker of this box compared to the striker of that box? So guys and gals, I have decided to repeat the experiment with a lot of these questions taken into consideration. So let me explain. Now, I know y'all say, Kevin, this is boring. Why is he doing something else? Because, like, guys, I've said this before. I tinker. I, I just sit around and do different things. And I've wanted to make this type of video now for a while. So I know it's going to be boring. But some people may find it interesting. So what we've got is a box of diamond strike-on box matches. This was opened last week. It's been in the cellophane wrapper for, let's just say, a decade. Let's say both these boxes are close to the same age. They're going to say, Kevin, you should buy new matches for this. I'm like, no, I'm not buying new matches because that's not what you're going to do. My watchers, my viewers, you're not going to go down and buy new matches for this. You're going to go into your stocks and you're going to get out whatever you have and you're going to make waterproof matches out of them. I believe that this is a realistic representation of what everybody's going to do or just about everybody. These are green light. These are sourced from Responsible Forest. I've had these in stock for, let's say, a decade They've been in, a, in the closet of my house, been in a climate-controlled environment, not been left out in the shed or anything. So notice the strikers. The strikers have not had a single strike on it. That was one of the questions somebody asked us. So what about the strikers, Kevin? Are you, what about the strike-on-box matches? Should be using the, strike on, the striker on the strike-on-box matches. And so, okay, so we've got a box, box of freshly opened diamond strike-on-box matches. Over here, we have a box of Strike Anywhere matches. These were just opened on the same weekend, same day that I opened the Strike On Box matches. I opened these. The matches were dipped on the same night using the same thing of fingernail polish, the same candle wax. Everything's the same, guys. Notice there are no strikes on the strikers of these boxes. Yeah, they opened the box, opened the cellophane, took the matches out, dipped them, let them dry for a week. And so what we have here, we have two little saucers set up. Little dog hair or something on that one. But anyway, yeah, dogs have been out here. What we have is we've got a saucer here of these green light matches pointing to this side. Strike anywhere. These are fingernail polish. These are dipped in candle wax. So we're going to dip them into water, flick the heavy water off of it, see if it'll strike. And then we're going to toss it into the jar. All we're doing now, guys, is trying to eliminate a lot of the questions that people had last time. You're going to take the match, dip it in the water for about five seconds, then try to strike it. One, two, three, four, five. Flip the heavy water off. Try not to flip it on the other matches. Now, here we go. Strike on box. One strike. One strike, guys, just like on the last, the last set that we did. So we're going to do all five of these, five seconds. Now I say, Kevin, this is boring. One, two, three, four, five. But we're testing our survival gear before we need it, guys. Just like the last experiment I did, strike anywhere. Strike on box matches are doing well. One, two, three, four, five. Flip the heavy water off. And these are dipped in just a generic fingernail polish that I bought at Walmart. And hang on, well, I've got something else to do here. One, two, three, four, five. Flip the water off. There we go, guys. Last one. Last one. Now, see, I forgot to count. We'll do this one twice. One, two, three, four, five. Dip it again. One, two, three, four, five. All right. That one there was in there for about 15 seconds or so, submerged. You hear that fingernail polish burning. Okay, guys. Now it's time for the move that out of the way. Instead of reaching across the camera, we're going to move this over here. These are the strike on box matches. Now, somebody had a question. Kevin, will the strike on box matches strike on the box? And yes. It, these so that was one of the questions somebody brought up Kevin with a light on the box even light on the box or 
he was trying to send you I think the person was trying to insinuate if something I think that lit better <laughs> with the coating on it than straight out of the box so the person had a question of will the strike on box strike anywhere matches even light on the box and I'm not sure if he was trying to be sarcastic or whether it was a legitimate question and so there we have yes they are lighting on the box let's do this again move this a little bit further down i'm looking at my viewfinder one two three four five flip the heavy water off oh that one there lit i like that not for very long though no. not for very long that bothers me one two three four five They're not staying lit near as long as the um, strike on box matches. And there's no real wind, guys. There's no wind blowing just a little bit. I'm going to set that one. One, two, three, four, five. Let's try to repeat that at one, two, three, four, five. Let's try this, guys. On the last experiment, I used the strike on box striker for the strike anywhere matches. Let's see if that played a factor. No. The strike on box striker worked with the strike anywhere matches. That one there burned good. That one there burned good. One, two, three, four, five. Flip the heavy water off. Yep, that works well. Okay, so I do not know what was going on with that last experiment. Now I'm glad that we're repeating this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight nine ten yep guys i do not know what happened on the last experiment but i'm glad we repeated this i am but i still think the strike on box matches are given a longer burn time than the strike on strike anywhere matches now let's move over to wax this is candle wax this is something i've been wanting to do and instead of just the fingernail polish let's go ahead and do the candle wax we can tell the green head of the strike on box matches as compared to the red and white let's do this one two three four five flip the heavy water off even with that heavy ooh, now that there is burning Ooh, that's burning good that one there burned good. I like that. I like I like that better than the fingernail polish. That wax lit and it was on. One, two, three, four, five. Flip that water off. Yeah. Now that's nice, guys. That is working out a lot better than the fingernail polish. I tell you what, let's expand that to 10 seconds. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that. Oh wow. Yep, I'm liking that, guys. I think the wax is working better than the fingernail polish. Whenever that gets lit, that burns good. That burns very well. It's not even bother counting this one. Yeah, I'm sure that was more than five to ten seconds. Wow, did y'all see that delay? Did you see that? It just barely did, and then that wax caught. Yeah, guys. Now, last of the strike on box matches. What do you say? Let's go for 15 seconds, y'all. Hey, Kevin, this is boy. Why are you doing all this? Because you should check out, we should check out our survival gear before we use it, guys. That's just all there is to it. You should take and use your gear in a controlled environment before you need it. So, all right, let's do that. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, that is the end of the strike on box matches. It did they did very well with the fingernail polish and wax, and I feel the wax gave a better light, harder burning fire than the fingernail polish. Now it is the strike anywhere matches. So what we're gonna do now, same thing. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, 
equal results i like that but i don't think it's burning as hot guys see the difference i don't think that match there is burning as hot as the strike on box matches i just don't i don't see it guys i just do not see it all right let's do that again one two three four five Dud. One, two, three, four, five. Dud. One, two, three, four, five. That striker is looking like it may be getting a little wax on it, so let's turn this one around. We didn't turn the other one around, but let's go ahead and do this one. There it goes. Now that's burning like the strike on box matches did. There. Okay. Let's do this one a little bit longer. And we're just going to sit here and talk for a minute, guys. That I know some of say, okay, this board is watching grass grow. Yeah. But guys, we're learning a little something here. I honestly think the strike on box matches are giving a better ignition and better burn, more reliability than the strike anywhere matches. We're still on this side that has only had one match on it. I like that. That's burning good. That is burning good. All right, put that out. So, my conclusion is we did 5, 10, 15, 20 matches. A couple of the strike anywhere gave a failure to light where none, none of the strike on boxes, strike on box matches failed to light. They lit in the wax, they lit with the fingernail polish. And I feel that these gave a better result, a better ignition, and a hotter fire than the Strike Anywhere matches. And that's my personal opinion. And you just saw the evidence. So I want your opinion. Now, what I want is I want your opinion. What did you note that I may have overlooked from this experiment? What would you like to see in the future, guys? Just let me know, and I will talk to you all later.